Daddy. This for me? Yes. All right. All right, so now, welcome back to All This Math. I got my man Kwame here. <laughs> this is Kwame. So Kwame's standing up on a chair. He's not He's not this tall yet. He's only four years old. But Kwame likes to ask me questions about, or questions in the form of math problems. He likes to ask me addition problems, right? Yeah. All right, so what I decided to do is I'm going to have Kwame ask me some questions, and then we're going to write the questions on the board, and I'm going to provide Kwame with the answers like I do all the time. Right? Right. So what's the first question you got? What you want to know what um you want to know what four plus four is? Yeah. All right. Four plus four equals. How many fingers is that? Eight. Eight, Daddy. my man. Daddy. All right, so I'm gonna write You're this on. You're forgetting off. something. I'm not. Daddy, you gotta stick this together. Wait, we stick them together? Yeah, it gotta stay stick together. I'll try. No, I, I can't really. Well, I don't know how to do this. Uh, this how you do it. I'm gonna show you how. You gonna show me how? Eep, eep, eep. Eep, eep. Eep, eep. This how you do it. But I gotta write with it though. First, you do. Right here. Oh. That's how you do it. You're right. Okay. That's how you stick it. He just showed me how to, he just showed me how to combine the two expo markers. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. See? Learn something new every day. Alright, so Kwame asked me what four plus four was, and I told him that. Well actually he told me it was eight. All right? So what's your next question? So we got questions. Look how I spelled the word question. I was trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do alliteration, you know, literary alliteration, like the KW with the KW. Yeah. Um, what's the next question you got? Oh. Whoa, whoa. I found. You all right? Yes. So that's Christian three plus four. Three plus four. All right, matter of fact, I'm gonna write it right here. Three plus four. Equals. You know what? You know what equals? Yeah, seven. Seven, my man. My man. Seven. All right, what's another question? My another question is two plus three. Two plus three, all right, two plus three. Equals one, two, three, four, five, five. Five, so the sum is five. So two and three are the two and three are the add-ins, and the sum of two and three is five. All right. What's another question you got? What you got for what you got for us now? Five plus five. Okay, we'll do five plus five. Five plus five equals ten. Ten. Who told you that? How'd you know that? How'd you know that, boy? So five and five are the add-ins. Sometimes some books call them sum-ins, sum-ends or add-ins, and the sum is 10, all right? You're on a roll, brother. What's your next one? What's your next question? My next question is eight plus eight. Okay. Let's see if you know what eight plus eight is. You know what eight plus eight is? Or you want me to tell you? I didn't know what eight plus eight is. It's okay, don't feel bad. That's, that's going to give you a, <laughs> a larger answer. So 8 plus 8, Kwame, is 16. Not 6, but it's 16. 8 is an add-in. 8 is an add-in. Plus sign, equal sign. The sum is 16. So remember that. 8 plus 8 is 16. Yeah. It's very important for you to memorize your addition facts. These are your addition facts. These belong to you. These are yours. I mean, they belong to other people also. Right, as long as they learn them, as long as you memorize them. If you memorize them, they're yours. That's basically how it works. Addition facts, subtraction facts, multiplication facts, division facts. Right, stand up so you can be in the camera. Okay. <laughs> All right, come with it. Come, come with it with another question for us. I got ten plus ten. Ten plus ten. Kwame says ten plus ten. Now, Kwame, do you know what ten plus ten is? What's the sum of ten and ten? 
You know, we need some help. I need some. I need some help. All right. Well, let me ask you this question. This is a one, right? Yeah. And this is zero, so that makes ten. One and zero makes ten, right? Yeah. When you write them next to each other, do you know what one plus one is? I don't know. Yeah, you do. What's one plus one? Count them. Count them up. One, two. <laughs> two. So one plus one is two. So look, watch this. Watch this. If one plus one is two. Then what do you do when you put a zero next to a two? You know what number that is? That is the number 20. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Kwame, stand up. Everybody can see you. He's standing on a chair. So look, 10 plus 10 is 20. All right, so look, Kwame, let's do one more. We did six questions already. Let's do one more. One more. What's the last question you got? I got on this, 17 on this. plus 17. Oh, okay, okay. You're swinging for the fence now, brother. Okay, I like it. I like your style. All right, 17 plus 17. You know what that is? Or you need some help? I need some help. All right, cool. It's cool to need help. It's cool that well, just as long as you always ask for help. You got to ask for help when you need help, right? Don't be too, too proud to not ask for help. Always ask for help. All right, so 17 plus 17 equals 34. 34. Right? 34. 34. Put a three in the tens place and a four in the ones place. That's three tens and four ones. Three tens and four ones. That's 34. 17 and 17 is 34. You can think of it like doing 10 and 7 plus 10 and 7. 10 and 10 is 20. 7 and 7 is 14. 20 and 14 is 34. All right? Now I want to make some toys. Make some toys. All right. Well, first, we're going to end the video and I want you to say goodbye to the people that are going to see this on YouTube. Wanna say bye to the people? Uh-huh. All right, go ahead and say bye. Bye. All right. Peace. We'll see y'all on the next video. Bye, bye, bye.